So despite the forecast rain, it is actually quite a pleasant day here in Portugal. Uh, largely what you'd expect, really, uh, for the practice session. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do the usual, the usual setup here. Select drivers. We're going to go with Bjorn. We're going to go with Vanessa. Uh, everything is golden. Bjorn, for some reason, uh, has felt that medium tyres might be a nice way to go today. Uh, we'll have a look at that. I mean, it's, uh, it's 23 degrees. Hold on. Let's have a look at... Uh, it's 24 degrees. See, told you. And, uh, yeah, so, so we, we, we will need to uh, to think about tyres. They're, they're not going to last forever, so maybe mediums from the get-go would be would be the sensible way to go here. Uh, meanwhile, right, now then, if you're doing a lot of corners, you're going to want some downforce, right? So so you can get through those corners. So if we, uh, if we start at 16.2... Right, and then we'll we'll ease it down based on driver feedback. Uh, speed balance. We're going to want relatively short gearing here, and uh, and for suspension, I would suggest that uh, a modicum of oversteer is possibly good. Now that's quite a quite an extreme start out, but uh, but I think that's that's possibly the the smart move. So. Uh, Based on the expected lap uh, life of the tyres, I think mediums uh, to, to kick off with. Um, although, I can't help but think that going out with aggressive tyres at the beginning is, is not a bad bet. Although, you do go through them while you're in a traffic jam. So, maybe we go medium, speedy, medium. I don't know. Uh, but tyre strategy appears to have worked quite well for me since I decided to start paying attention to such things earlier this season. Um, so we'll see We'll see how we get on. Uh, I'm going to go even more wingy uh, with Silvera. We'll go 16-4. We'll go uh, gear ratios, obviously, we'll drop them down again. We'll set them. In fact, we're going to set both drivers largely in the, uh, in the same direction there right at the edge of where the mechanic thinks is a good idea. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. There we go. Plenty of overspit, oversteer, a lot of acceleration, and uh, and moving towards quite a bit of downforce. Feels like a champ to me. Uh, let's get good with the medium tyre and, uh, and see if that can't put us in good stead as we head into the race as it's practice time. Okay, we'll send out Silvera first in that way that we always do. Skip, 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 go. Right, and then we'll send out Mr. Bieland. Uh, again, he's already set up. Off you trot there, Chief. Um, uh, we'll put them both on a reasonably aggressive strategy uh, simply because we can. But we're not going to watch Bieland because he is the, uh, the number three driver on the team. We're going to keep an eye on Silvera uh, from this pretty close-up dramatic... Uh, race car angle here uh, and uh, and with a bit of luck we'll get some feedback early on so we can get a feel for, for how the car's doing uh, the one that's going to be of interest to me is how quickly it hit, it uh, it heats the tyres um, so uh, you know we want to keep an eye on that because obviously you can't be too aggressive if your tyres are all uh, are all hot and bothered um so you know, paying paying due attention is uh, is wise. So Vanessa's on a flying lap, and I'm actually going to bring her in this time um, to uh, to make adjustments. We'll leave Bjorn out for an extra lap. Uh, she's absolutely loving the gear ratios, well, and that's a that's a jolly good sign. Um, and that's rain. Oh, really? Yep, it, it's raining currently. Uh, uh, both drivers are loving the gear ratios. Uh, now I'm not I'm not too bothered about the rain. We're going to stay out on these tyres because I'd quite like my drivers to become more proficient with them. Uh, Silvera is currently being closed in by Mendez. No, she's not. She's being closed out by some dude in a purple car who's left. Oh no, oh, we've left. There you go. <laughs> That's just as well. I know what's going on, eh? Uh, right. Send it back out. So, speed balance, we got a great on the speed balance, but wasn't pleased with the wing setting or the handling. So, what do you think? More downforce? Less downforce? Let's try a little bit less. Uh, 
although Captain Mechanic is suggesting we go completely the opposite direction with that. Uh, and then we head towards a bit more oversteer. This feels wrong to me. Just feels wrong. Um, and then even more on the acceleration. Craziness. That's what that is. Uh, now, hopefully, with the track getting damp, um, I mean, inters are probably the way to go. We'll stick her on inters. Uh, but, uh, but the track changing condition... Uh, may well lead to a uh, uh, well it'll, it'll certainly lead to a, a, a difference in the feedback that we get but uh, but hopefully we can still get the value we need in order to put together a compelling setup for the race uh, right well let's up the tempo of this uh, as uh, as Bjorn is doing his in lap uh, he set the fastest time which was promptly beaten by Hans double zero yeah I know that guy again um, Finger Puppet on the better tyre compound could only manage third. Uh, then you've got Playmoto, Fodder, Hertz, Lau, Shaw, Longo, Price, Thomas. Um, but, uh, right, you need more downforce. Okay, then. We can certainly apply more downforce. Um, that's that's easy peasy. Uh, in fact, you've already got lots of downforce, in, in which case Vanessa's going to be on the radio... Uh, griping about uh, a, a downforce deficit um, in no time at all. But we have got the speed balance absolutely spot on. And that's nice. Uh, let's go for just a little more oversteer. L little more oversteer. No, nah, no, nah. just, just that much. That much oversteer would be good. We've, we've tweaked that. We've tweaked this. Tweaked the other. Uh, you can go out on inters as well. Let's boogie. Uh, as we have a look at Vanessa, who is now out on the intermediate tyre, and, uh, and overtaking everybody as a result, because uh, she's got tyres that are appropriate to the track conditions. Uh, yeah, that's just what you would expect, really. Now, do I leave her out for a double time here? Yeah, the downforce is a bit off now, so she wants more downforce as well. We'll bring her in immediately and, uh, and get, that, uh, get that adjusted. As we, uh, as we learn how to trim the race to level one. Uh, Silvera's just got overtaken by someone who's on a standard tyre. Although she uh, she gets the acceleration jolly quickly there. I, mean, I, I would have quite liked to see that, uh, that develop. But uh, we're not going to. So, you know, there it is. All right. Downforce is now poor compared to uh, OK previously. All right. She wants... She wants less downforce. And she wants a bit more understeer. <sighs> okay. I don't I can't believe she wants less downforce. Or maybe no, she wants more downforce. That's what it that's what it is. Uh because uh, young fellow me lad was saying that he wanted downforce for weeks and weeks. So, uh, so let's do the same for Vanessa and see if that uh, puts a smile on her face again. Uh, meanwhile, as far as handling is concerned, we've dropped from yeah, we've dropped from OK into poor. So I think uh, understeer is where we actually need to be going. How do you feel about that? No, nope, bit more. Yeah, I'd try that on. A bit more still. Any more for any more? That should be enough for a good, I would have thought. So maybe one more notch on there will uh, we'll sort it right out. Speed balance, however, we had great, which was a slightly closer to top speed. Uh, so something like that might do the trick and, uh, and get us an excellent. Uh, anyway, tweaks are what it's about. Uh, with an appropriate number of tweaks, everything becomes golden. Uh, do we go out on the inters again here? We're going to have five minutes, which is enough time to to, to rock in one lap time. So yeah, we'll stay we'll stay on our intermediates here and uh, and get a lap time based on those, uh, and uh, and see where that gets us. Uh, let's uh, let's bring Bjorn in for one final stop as well, and then with a with a bit of luck, uh, we'll have both cars in a pretty happy place uh, as it becomes race time. Uh, Bjorn's pretty disappointed right now. He would have quite liked to set a lap time, but uh, he's not going to get that chance. Uh, with a bit of luck, uh, the, the track will stay wet enough for uh, Silvera's intermediates 
to uh, to propel her up to the top of the practice lap. It's always good to get number one. You know, that makes the drivers feel good, even though they tend to end up uh, underperforming on the day. <coughs> Right then, the downforce is now good, apparently. We've had uh, poor, it's now good. The handling is now good. Uh, no, it was good, it's now only okay. Speed balance, however, is still bang on the money. So uh, understeer is the way to go here. All right, we'll go two notches, there you go, have some of that. Uh, we'll ease off on the downforce ever so slightly. Well, honestly, honestly, I couldn't tell you. It was it was good there. It was oh, it was poor there. I think we're just going to settle for good, um, and uh, you know, and and that'll be that'll be that. Uh, right, tire choice. Uh, given that the track is now drying out, you can go back out on your medium tires again. Uh, doesn't really matter. Just get out and get some experience, man. That's uh, that's what we need from you. Uh, but nobody's really got time to come in again unless unless there's a there's you know very last ditch tweaks to be done uh the aero setup is now way better says Vanessa Silvera and we'll follow her as she's on her flying lap um this will be her last lap uh to uh to record a time we won't get a chance to tweak the car any further but we can make it some last minute adjustments before the race itself that's something we can do. Uh, don't, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, we've learned how to use intermediates, which is not knowledge that I really wanted to pick up. Uh, and her flying lap was enough to put her in first. Well, that's, that's perfect. Given that she just put a faster lap in on intermediates than everybody else has done on dry tyres, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, her tyres are now cooking like a bandit. So uh, ease it off there. No need to wreck the car. You're all done. Uh, good. So race trim level two. Smashing. Uh, that, hold on. B Bjelen there was just complaining about his downforce. Which is not what I wanted to hear. As he lands the number two time overall. That's bulldozer power. One and two in practice. Kaboom. So to confirm... That was us in, in first and second place in practice. Now, of course, as we well know, practice means absolutely nothing at all. Uh, right, uh, over to the social medias here. Uh, Adil Roast, who is a fan. Why do I even bother watching Predator Racing Group? It's worse than watching four rom-coms simultaneously. Harsh, but fair. Uh, from Central Sports Network, it's Sophie Richards. What did they put in the water in the Bulldozer Power HQ? Mega impressive in practice today. I tend to be mega impressive quite frequently. Uh, Vanessa's tweeted twice because uh, uh, she loves it. So she's a fashion designer these days. Um, can't wait for the rest of the weekend after that practice. D smiley face hashtag good practice. Uh, and then uh, feels like we've got a pretty decent setup figured out there today. Regular smiley face. Not too much emotion. Keep it basic. Uh, good. Right. Well, you know, that's uh, that's excellent. Uh, Bulldozer Powers drivers set the pace in practice at Tom Della with Silvera leading the way. Uh, Bulldozer Powers Bjelland followed him in second. Followed her. It's a her in second. Uh, only two hundredths of a second behind. With Wu Yao coming in third for Zambelli Engineering. Thank you, Lisa Amorosi. So it's going to be well sunny today here on uh, Race Sunday in Tondela. Uh, do not cook the tyres. Don't cook the tyres. No tyre cooking. That is the rule that we will be applying to uh, to the situation today. Uh, intermediate tyres, I, I don't think so. Race trim, yes. Nurse, you know it. That's Nicky Boy set up. And then for Vanessa, it's going to be uh, race trim, obviously, and then uh, nothing but intermediates, unfortunately. Uh, and we'll go with uh, risk taker, is, as is our standard kind of approach. Uh, it's worked reasonably well for us so far this season. Hopefully we can keep that up. Uh, let's set up the cars. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got low happiness from Hazel on the downforce, which bothers me a little. I could possibly tweak it 
a smidge uh, to, to, to get a, a happier result. Uh, but then a great and an excellent, that, that's, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, right, where are you? 16-7, and you've had good with higher downforce and poor with lower downforce. Right, so what he's basically saying is a little bit more downforce. I can I can go that much, right? Let's let's not be aggressive. Let's go a bit more aggressive. There you go. Let's not be too aggressive because I don't want to monkey with the other bits that are actually performing rather well. Uh, so we'll we'll stick with that. See where it gets us. So as mentioned, we're going to go out and start on a medium compound tyre because it will last a little bit longer while the traffic is all bunched up. Now, whether this means that I'm going to hamper my overtaking opportunities uh, at the start of the, the race, um, uh, who knows? But, uh, but previously, I have, you know, I've thrashed the cars a little while they're, they're just manoeuvring in traffic, so you're not going to get up to top speed anyway. Or is this really backward thinking and I should be hammering it initially? We'll go for the longer first stint, I think. Long first stint uh, and then maybe a quick one. Uh, change the setup. This all looks great. Yeah, all right. Well, Vanessa's, Vanessa should be fairly pleased. Do we put her out on slicks? I really want to. If it, I, I, that's, in, uh, that's in soft tyres. Do I want to put her out on soft tyres? It feels like a sensible move. No, we'll go out on mediums. It feels more prudent, um, and we'll, uh, we'll 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 adjust the pony as the race uh, continues, uh, and hopefully that'll that'll sort us out. Maybe weight stripping. I haven't done any of that yet. Uh, let's give that a go. Now then, we know that um, uh, uh, acceleration is crucial, so we'll leave the gearbox alone. But we can uh, we can certainly mess with. Uh, we'll mess with the brakes. Why not? Uh, we'll mess with the suspension. And obviously, the more reliable these are, the more I can mess with them come race day, uh, which is a good thing to do. And we'll mess a little bit, but not quite as much with the engine. Uh, that's quite a lot. We've gained 120 points worth of quality uh, for, uh, for Nicholas Hazel. Uh, we'll do a similar kind of maneuver here. Uh, again, I, I, this is making me unhappy because uh, it feels like uh, I'm uh, I'm tearing the life and soul out of the car. But there it is. So 135 points for Vanessa, 120 for Hazel. Um, yeah, just you know, just take it. Just just kind of go. No, I feel I feel good about that. Uh, life life is going to be absolutely fine. I'm certain of it. Uh, as we uh, as we look at the starting grid, and uh, and with a bit of luck, um, it's not completely heinous. Uh, right, driving style. Before we look at the starting grid, obviously, uh, we'll stay on a bit of push to start with. Uh, fuel burn. We'll go with uh, active burning of the fuel. We'll do that for both of them. There we are. Uh, and we'll we'll micromanage one of them to try and get the best out of the situation. As we look at the grid, and it is uh, Salmon A. Longo, Swans Plastic on uh, front row with Steve Mush and Nicholas Wolfrath in second. Um, in fifth is Chris Shaw and then Hong Lao for Dragon Race Team China, uh, just ahead of Zampelli's Zihua Wu Yao, a name I could never quite pronounce, and Micah Kitasato. Uh, there's Hazel on the uh, fifth row of the grid next to Sarah Thomas, with Trolley Fodder and Vanessa Silvera on the row behind. Uh, then you've got Playmoto and Kotso Masalella. Moto actually having a decent season uh, for a change. Uh, Seen Mendez and P. Ruto on the eighth row ahead of Megahertz and Finger Puppet, who've also gone out on medium compound tires there. Medium uh, good stuff there. Uh, and Hans Double Zero has gone super speedy for his first time out. Now, this is the driver to beat. Uh, rarely does he call it wrong. Uh, I will be interested to see if he can make that pay off or not, as the case may be. Uh, I'm going to do the unconventional thing and actually scroll up and have a look at the tyre choices. Moto Masalella both gone uh, soft. Uh, Fodder and Thomas are both gone soft. Wu Yao, Lao, Shaw, everyone up the front has gone for as quick a tyre as they can get, which could be interesting. It's going to up the... 
it's going to do them no favors at all because those tires are going to wear out uh, pretty quickly while they're pushing the pace, but they're not pushing the pace in a way that will mean that those actual fast drivers uh, miss out in any fashion. So their tires are going to burn out. The longer compound tires, uh, drivers are going to continue on the track. Uh, and then where will we be? Pit time. That's anything can happen. But here we go. We're on the grid. I'm going to zoom right in for this. And uh, we're off. Uh, start of the uh, of the Tondela race for the second time this season. And Hazel typically has uh, a leaden foot approach to uh, to the start of the race as he drops places. Um, and uh, and with Sil Silvera stuck in traffic, she's dropping places as well. But this is purely because she's got a really poor line uh, for the most part. Uh, Hazel doing nobody any favours at all uh, as he drops the 13th. Uh, and uh, a neither driver looks like uh, looks like keeping up hazel's just overtaken silvera um what is it with silvera and this track she, she never has a good day and and while i might be a little bit premature in in judging in this fashion uh it does look like she's uh, she's not turning up at the moment although she has taken her place back although it's only 14th uh let's uh Let's tell her to give it the beans for a minute and see if that can uh, separate my two drivers. I don't like them being in such close proximity. Uh, it's inherently dangerous, uh, likely to lead to a scenario uh, whereby they collide with one another. And we really, really would not want that. Uh, as the tyres are still getting up to temperature, let's have a quick look at the uh, forecast here. It's only 23 degrees at the moment, but it is going to get warmer as the race continues. Uh, let's ease it back off again, Vanessa, um, as she overtakes Playmoto to grab 13th. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just not feeling it from either driver at the moment. I guess it's because we're on the slower compound tyres. Um, but we're going to need to make those work uh, in order to, uh, to capitalise in the second half of the race. Uh, we should be able to stay out for longer uh, than, uh, than our competitors. But frankly, with uh, with two stops to go anyway, uh, everybody, I mean, everybody's going to be two stopping. You know, there is an argument to be made for, for two speedy sets of tyres and one, uh, one robust uh, uh, old person tyre set uh, to, uh, to, get the, uh, to get the show on the road. As Silvera closes down on Kitasato, uh, who is also uh, using the, uh, the reliable tyres... Yeah, we are not competitive on this tyre compound. And we're going to stay out for a bit longer as well, which is also not exactly brilliant. Maybe it is the, t the, the other drivers who are out there right now are also running lighter fuel loads, which is why they've been able to take off a little bit more rapidly. Um, but we're, we're certainly not looking uh, sprightly. Uh, at this time, although the pack is not exactly spread out just yet. Uh, plastic, so Swans Plastic has managed to make a nice move up front, but uh, but the tyres have struggled to uh, to keep up as a result of that, uh, as Vanessa is, is barely clinging to 13th. Uh, this is, and Hazel's now in last. What a pro, Nicholas Hazel, last place. Um, I don't know what he did wrong there, but it was clearly clearly uh bad uh because he's he's now doing absolutely nothing and his tires are starting to look a little bit crispy so we'll ease off on that as vanessa's tires look very crispy very crispy tires for vanessa silvera is a bad thing all right we have made the wrong decision tire wise this has not been beneficial to us in the slightest but and now we're just going to have to go with it uh until we can safely get two pit stops in to round out the race She's managed to managed to pull it together a little bit there and make 14th. She's got herself a bit of breathing space, but uh, it's just not uh, it's just not cricket, people. Uh, she's uh, she's very disappointing, uh, especially given how much we wrecked the cars in uh, in part stripping in weight stripping to uh, to get to this stage. Although it does look like our tyres may now be coming into their own as everybody else is start to get a little bit tired. Uh, pun unintentional there 
uh, we may be starting to move up as the first wave of pit stops have started happening. Now we're good for at least two more laps, um, but uh, it's uh, you know it, it's really hard to say what the best move is going to be at this point. Uh, yeah, stay out for a little bit longer, get some better tyres. If we can if we can go for a two stop strategy rather than three, we can still win the, the uh, win the day. As Vanessa hangs on there in tenth place. Um, still nursing her tyres, although tyres are cooled off, she can now push again. And while there's open track ahead of her, this is a this is a good thing. Uh, Hazel's up to 13th now. Uh, he can push as well. Let's get as much out of this uh, this pit sequence as we possibly can. Uh, there are five drivers who are going to come into the pits, I would have thought, on this lap, which will make Silvera third place overall uh, behind Mendez and Puppet. Uh, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So, double zero has now moved to the harder compound tyre as the sun starts beating down and it's a balmy 24 degrees. Now, that still isn't the uh, the 28 plus uh, that we had last time here, uh, which was absolutely murder on the tyres. Um, and, uh, you know, there's we've, we've got to, uh, we've got to bear that in mind. Uh, so the softer tyres. I think Silvera's about done. She's got Hertz uh, giving, her, giving her trouble there from 7th. Uh, but she's still hanging on. Wu Yao's got difficulties of a mechanical nature as is Sarah Thomas. Uh, that's not a bad sign. Um, Wu Yao's come in as well. And as predicted, that puts Silvera into 3rd with Hazel in 7th. Uh, but we're going to need to start thinking about pitting. And I'm thinking about it right now. So uh, Vanessa's coming in this lap. We'll go out on the speedy stuff. Um, now, those speedy tyres. Tyre option here. Seven to nine laps. Okay. Seven to nine laps. It's going to be closer to seven than it is to nine. Uh, so if we fill it up, 12 laps. Don't need that much fuel. Uh, we can go with 10 laps of fuel. And, uh, and everything will be even better. Uh, park condition. Uh, worryingly, the brakes look a little worse for wear. Um, the the gearbox looks solid. The engine looks reasonably good, um, but I am a little worried about those uh, those brakes. Uh, we'll go with the fast pits. Thirty six percent chance of a flipping cock up. I mean, come on, team, hold it together. Uh, so we'll be battling Hong Hong uh, Hong Lao when we come out of the pits. That's not ideal, is it? Uh, but we'll see how we get on. Coming out on uh, faster tyres certainly shouldn't hurt, is my guess. Silvera now losing places. We've chosen the right time to come into the pits. Arguably, the end of the last lap would have been better still. But uh, but we'll uh, we'll see how it is. Uh, we're going to let Hazel do one more lap because, you know, clearly I hate him or something. Um, conserve your tyres and then pit, please, next time out. Come in on this. Do a bit of that, fill her up, drop it to 9, a 10, just to be on the safe side. How are your parts? All looking great. Pit strategy. <sighs> Balanced. There we go. We'll see, we'll see how he gets on there. Right, Vanessa's done. She's back out again. Uh, in 15th as forecast, but on fresh tyres. Uh, we'll we'll tell her to uh, to be mean to those tyres as well, to try and stay relevant somehow. Uh, now we've got what we what are we looking at here? One, two, three, including Hazel, four, maybe drivers to still come in, uh, and uh, we'll we'll see how that's gonna that's gonna happen. Exit position is going to be quite poor, but he is going to be in contest with Silvera. No, he's two like two places behind Silvera, um, and uh, and we appear to have uh, have zagged while everybody else has zigged. Uh, as we come out on the on the soft tyres, uh, it's 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 decidedly tricky to say whether we've made the right move or not. Uh, th but this is the uh, this is the stage of the race where we really need to be uh, ag aggressively reeling people in. Twenty one point four seconds off the lead now. I would expect that to be shrinking on a regular basis, because uh, if it doesn't, then we're not going to get a result this weekend, and we really do want a result this weekend. I want to prove that. Uh, uh, that Tom Deller is not any kind of a bogey track for us. Um, now, once those tyres look cool, I'm going to tell her to uh, to hammer it. Go on, attack. Kill, kill, kill. 
Go on, get in, get in, go on. I'm going to have to ease you off. No, too late. I've got to ease you off again. No, that's, you had your chance. But no, we can't, uh, we can't burn through the tyres too quickly. Uh, I'm, I'm prepared to be a little bit chancy with them. But uh, once those tyres are gone, we have to come in. There is no choice in the matter. Uh, right, let's uh, go a little bit more aggro on fuel, a little bit less aggro on tyres there. Uh, so we managed to make 12th out of that, which I'm not that impressed, if I'm honest. Uh, especially since Price is running quite... Well, he's, he's running slower tyres. And I know I've been banging on about tyres rather a lot in this race. Uh, she's just lost third. No, she's just lost 12th. But I, will you please put in a performance on this track just once? Uh, for the life of me, I don't get why it is we are absolutely as bad as we are here. Uh, especially given that the, 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 uh, the, the gearbox is actually pretty respectable on your car. Um, it's, yes, it's, it's very difficult to say why it is we're performing so badly. Uh, especially since Hazel, he's, he's hanging in there as well. He's not doing that much worse than Silvera is. Um, who's just not fast enough. Just hasn't got what it takes. Uh, to the extent that we might miss out on our sponsor objective. It's not going to make the sponsors happy. It's not going to make me happy. Uh, suddenly Silvera finds a burst of speed from somewhere. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, but we overtook a driver in the pits. And then uh, she suddenly got the bit between her te teeth. And uh, Dan is, uh, has decided to drive for a bit. Uh, well, that's, I mean, that's nice. But we're going to have to take it easy on your tyres. Because uh, they're not really cut out for you, you know, driving around like a maniac. Uh, and there we go. We're into the second pit session now. Um, and we need to make this count. Because there we are, back up into sixth. And this is almost like musical chairs. It's going to be when uh, uh, when the music stops playing. Where do we finish up on the track? Now, there are ten laps. Yeah, nine, ten laps to go. And... Uh, we're going to need to do at least one more pit stop. And we're not going to get 10 laps off uh, a, a, a hard set of tyres, a medium set, or these soft guys. So we're going to come in twice, it feels like. And therefore, we might as well go with the fastest thing we've got available and, uh, and plan for uh, a relatively swift uh, pit stop each time. This feels like an absolutely awful situation to be in uh it feels like a like a bad scenario we'll just have to see what happens i suppose but the tires have had it uh I, exactly why the the tires have faded so quickly i don't really know but uh, we may not we may now be turning our attention to nicholas hazel who is having the better day of it he's just driving a little bit more smoothly um and, uh, and that's all there is to it. Right, Silvera's in. Wolfrath has got some mechanical work being done. Does she get out clean? No mistakes. Good time. Pit ranking first, apparently. I'll, I'll take that as a good thing. Hans Double Zero has crashed. The uh, championship leader has wrecked his car. Uh, that's a good thing. Um, that's, that's a very, very good thing. And... Uh, Oh, well, there's, that's a turn up for the books. Hans Double Zero there, champion, uh, it, you know, elect, basically, uh, has, uh, has wrecked it. Um, oh, high drama here at Tom Della uh, in, the, uh, in the final third of the season. Um, we'll, uh, I'd love to get an action replay of exactly what happened there. It's a shame he didn't take out another couple of drivers. Uh, but there it is. I'd quite like to get one more lap out of Hazel, but I don't think we're going to. So we'll just bang on some fresh tyres. We'll fill him up. Uh, we'll then reduce the lap load uh, a little bit. Eight laps remaining after stop. Are you really? Eight laps remaining after stop. Change the tyres. We'll give you uh, we'll give you everything you could possibly desire. You are going to have enough to finish the race as long as you don't go too hard on things. Uh, and then with a bit of luck, you'll capitalise on people who are having to come in for another stop. Like uh, like our, our chum Silvera may have to do. Masalella's in the pits. He's getting fresh rubber put on. Uh, second pit stop. 
he's come out for he's come back for fast tyres as well, which is chancy. Because uh, those tyres are going to fade very strongly. Uh, there we go. Uh, Hazel was in. Decent pit time. Uh, comes back out in 16th. Hey, the, the Silvera's in contention now, uh, which isn't bad. Price and Ruto and Thomas still have to come in. Uh, Hong Lao's going to come in. Silvera is looking like she could be in a reasonably good position. But she's going to need to be careful with those tyres. And we're going to start doing that right now. In fact, we're also going to need to be careful with the fuel. Uh, so I'm going to save this for when she needs to put her foot down. Uh, because, as we all know, all we're after here is a top 10 finish. We just want the extra money uh, for a top 10. Obviously, the, the better off we can finish here, the better. Um, but if Severa can be good to her car, uh, she might make it through to the end of the race. I don't think she will, uh, given how fast those tyres are basically just falling apart. I really don't think she's going to be able to make this, uh, make this happen. Uh, right, let's uh, let's put Hazel on a bit more aggressive behaviour there. Um, yeah, I mean the 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 tyres are losing their their uh, structural integrity at a at a at a rate of knots, and it's going to mean that I'm going to have to make a decision in the next couple of laps as to whether to bring her in or not. I don't know. Is the simple answer? Ruto's in the pits now. Masalella looks to be in good shape to finish the race from first. Uh, Price looks to be in good shape in second. Uh, who's that in eighth? That's uh, Hertz in eighth, and he's got some technical problems going on. Um, uh, my heart goes out to him. It really does. Uh, I hope he doesn't uh, stay in the pits for a very, very long time. Uh, Nicholas Hazel uh, playing the insurance card as ever uh, back in 14th. Um, could end up in top 10 can't get past Hertz. No, because I'm telling you to drive in a very careful fashion. Tyres are now down to 42%. Oh dear. Those tyres are going to be uh, about had it. If we if we back up off the tyres she's going to lose she's going to lose a lot of track position but not as much as bringing her in for another pit stop. This is a this is a very very difficult decision to make. Uh, those tyres are absolutely on the edge, and uh, she's still fighting for you know this is a, a potential sixth place ahead of her. Oh, actually, hold on. There you go. Have a free seventh. My tyres are fairly worn. Should we pit soon? No, we shouldn't. We're going to back right off. We're going to back up off the tyres. You're going to lose some time hit now, but better losing it now than losing a lot in the last the last lap or two. Arguably, I've left it too late for this to count, though, uh, as the tyres are now at 28%. 25% is uh, uh, is the uh, the wise time to, uh, to make a change on those. We cannot come back into the pits. That would be throwing away any track position we've got. As it is, she's got, well, she's got a 10-15 second cushion uh, that keeps her in the top bit of the table. Uh, Hazel's in 11th. So if uh, if Silvera drops out, Hazel may bump in. But then I haven't been watching him properly either, and his tyres uh, are uh, are basically like a volcano at the moment, uh, erupting molten rubber all over the track. Uh, we'll try and ease back on them, and hopefully he'll uh, he'll be able to pick up a little bit of speed in this last lap. Uh, there you go. There's Silvera losing eighth. She's well off the pace, and that's fine. Uh, her tyres are, are, are completely horrible. Uh, we'll tell her just to go go to town on them for the last lap. Why not? The, the temperature's not so bad. There's, uh, there's barely any rubber left uh, on the wheel hub itself. Uh, and she's got a 1.2 seconds over Wolfrath, who's behind her, who, let's not forget, had to do a pit stop for, uh, uh, for a mechanical problem. And there he goes, tearing through. Yeah, wrecked it. Completely flawed strategy there. Should have switched to mediums on the final pit stop, but she has finished. We did get ninth. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, Hazel loses out uh, on the last lap, drops to 12th, uh, as Tom Della proves once again to uh, to have got the measure of, uh, of Bulldozer Power 
and uh, and refuses to let us have what would be described as a good day. It's all about the tyres there, friends. Uh, single soft, double medium would have been the way to go today. Um, clearly would have been the way to go today. And, of course, uh, paying attention to uh, tyre to temperature uh, would, have, would have helped there quite a bit as well. Uh, as we have a look. So Masalela went uh, softer compound, medium. He got nine laps out of those flipping cheesy tyres. I don't believe that. Um, but there's Price, double medium, and then a soft to finish it off. Uh, Ruto, double medium, soft, double medium, soft. That appears to be a good way to have gone. Finger Puppet went medium, soft, medium. Uh, so yeah, I made the wrong call. Uh, tried to get uh, too many laps out of those tyres to finish off the race. Could have held on to a better position. Ironically, Hazel had the right strategy, but I didn't pay attention to the uh, uh, the temperature that he was running. That one's on me. I'm going to take blame for that one. As uh, scrutineering checks out the cars, uh, hopefully we don't get busted. We don't get busted. Excellent. Not many races to go now to not get busted. And, uh, and then we'll have some parts that we can play with. Oh, interesting. There, there's a manoeuvre. So... Uh, uh, P. Roto has been uh, demoted by two places. Naughty, naughty. Uh, Play Moto has been demoted by two places. Very naughty. And uh, so was uh, Sarah Thomas. Uh, this is potentially a cautionary tale for drivers who are using uh, hooky parts, such as myself. So in the championship, no real change. Uh, Vanessa's managed to, uh, to hold on to ninth place, uh, now two points ahead of Trolley Fodder, uh, as Nicholas Hazel actually picks up a place and moves into 11th. Uh, with the team dropping, well, still tied with Octane Racing. We were just slightly ahead. We're now just tied with them. Uh, we've, we've got to do a little bit more than that if we want to finish in fifth, which has become something of a goal uh, that we've established. Uh, so, J.D. G oh, for crying out loud, Gacantzain, uh says, uh, there's something about the name Bulldozer Power. It has a beautiful ring to it. Okay. Uh, uh, Kirsty Moffat uh, is saying, holy balls, Cotso Masilella was amazing today. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, David Escalante, yes, Cotso Masilella blew them all away. Yeah. Uh, and then Catherine Pinon, which would, I would imagine would be Pinon. Uh, uh, I guess it could have been worse. Hashtag bulldozer power. Hashtag happy-ish. Happy-ish is, is about right uh, as, uh, as we move away from, from what is easily the, the track we struggle to get a result on uh, every time. And, uh, and uh, let's, let's hope that we can turn that around next season and beyond. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, not the best of races, but not the worst of races either. Um, there you go. They, basically, no. Ch I, something has happened to uh, to Vanessa's stats. She's uh, she's lost a lot there. That doesn't feel right to me. But we managed to get eighth due to people being uh, being chastised for cheating. And that's something, I suppose. Uh, anyway, uh, subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss out on the next race in the season. There's only a couple to go now. And uh, chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed it. I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio.